right. Well, it is mid-October, which means the any buck mule deer season has begun here in British Columbia. So right now it's about 7 a.m. in the morning and the thermals are coming down the mountain. So I've just worked my way up to about 4,000 feet elevation and I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled for any movement. See if I can find a decent buck to put on the ground here. Friggin' blowdown is unbelievable. Constantly having to change my pattern just to try and avoid as much of it as I can, but seems to be where all the deer like to hide. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Looks like maybe a cow calf moose just came through here. Ten days or so, and it'll be immature moose season. So, here in BC, we've got from the 1st of November to the 15th as a general uh, spike fork moose season. So, we do have an opportunity for 15 days to try and find a unicorn which if a guy does his homework can increase his odds pretty good so nice little bedding area in here little draw goes all the way down good feeding sources on either side here I'm just gonna work my way up this draw here. And I'll be able to look down into this next little uh, valley that drops over. Maybe something bedded up in there, we'll see. Some pretty fresh buck poo. Good size too, so. It's any buck season and you've got a beautiful spiker in front of you and uh, you let them pass that is not an easy decision it's good but it sucks because you never know if you're gonna get another crack at one right and so oh well, maybe that's good karma we'll see Friggin' feeling when you got a spike buck in front of you, man. Oh, I tell you. Some friggin' good eats right there, dude. I'm so freaking tempted to drop it, but I know once I do, my muley season's pretty much done for region 8. What would you do right now? Would you shoot that buck or would you carry on? Wait for a bigger one. Bigger body, more meat. Tougher meat, but more meat. Bigger rack. 
What's it about? The meat or the rack? Oh boy. I just jumped a little two fork buck out of his bed. Right there. Broadside. And it's so friggin' hard not to drop this buck right now, I tell you. Some of the best eating right there. I want to commit myself to getting something a little bigger. And, uh, maybe if I don't shoot this guy, he'll get bigger as well, so. Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to drop this buck. Alright, well. I thought long and hard about it. And uh, it's not a big buck. The wife said, just drop it. The meat's too good not to. So I took her word and I dropped him. And uh, I didn't film it, didn't film the shot, didn't feel the need to, but uh, feel good about it. It's not too far uh, to get him back to the truck. And uh, awesome. I don't have to worry about muley, getting my region eight muley anymore, but I gotta get to him and um, show you guys like I said he's not a big buck but that's not what it's all about it's all about putting meat in your freezer and taking uh, advantage of opportunities that sometimes jump into your face so all right guys well there he is the region 8 muley this year 2024 beauty snacks for days get these off Just a beauty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Delicious. Alright guys, well, the hard part is done. It wasn't all that bad, you know? I mean, I'm freaking proud to say that I took this little two point because I know the freaking meat is going to be unbelievable. It's gonna be amazing, just awesome steaks, roast. The freaking back, back straps and tenderloin are gonna be just awesome, so. Pumped.